Hey guys, what's going on? Levi Vincent here with Levi Vincent Ministries. This is 40 Days of Favor, and today I want to be talking about healing our land. 2 Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, seek my face, and pray, I will hear from heaven and heal their land. God wants to heal our land. God's been dire to heal our land. He's He's been uh, desiring to heal our land. He's He wants to heal our land, but we need to humble ourselves, seek his face. You notice that the vaccines aren't working. You notice that we're still in all kinds of problems here. You notice tons of people are still getting sick. And I want to ask you, do you think America has humbled themselves, sought God's face, turned from their wicked ways, and, and God has healed their land? I don't think so. The Bible says that we need to turn from our wicked ways, and he will heal our land. I left that out when I said the, the verse at first. But repentance is the key. Repentance is the key. I should have made the first video on repentance because you can't have forgiveness without repentance. But guess what? God gave us forgiveness while we were still sinners. Before we ever repented, God offers out his forgiveness to us. That's right. Before, While we were still sinners, Christ died on a cross. Before we ever repented, God offered us forgiveness. But we have to repent and turn from our sins to receive that forgiveness. And today we're in a Daniel fast, 21 days of uh, prayer and fasting and asking God to heal our land. I want to encourage you to join me on that. God wants to heal our land because um, medicine only goes so far. But uh, I was reading in Chronicles and Samuel last night about uh, David, when he took a census and he counted all the, the people in Israel, and it was something that Satan had put in his mind to do, and, and he did it anyway, and he knew he shouldn't have, and it was a sin, and it was his pride, and it was a bad motive that caused him to number the people of Israel. And guess what? There was a pestilence sent on the land, and 70,000 Israelites died because of one man's sin. Not just any man, the king of the nation. And I'll tell you what, the sin of our leaders, the sin of our leaders has caused and brought a lot of judgment and a lot of pestilence on our nation. But guess what? The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will turn from their wicked ways, seek my face and pray, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land. Is America going to repent, turn from their sins, so that God will heal their land? That good, let me start over, the internet connection got weird. Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 2. You know, just because everybody else is doing it doesn't mean that we should be doing it. There's a lot that's going on in this world right now. And we are not supposed to be like this world. If you are a believer, if you're a Christian, you need to ask yourself, are you conforming to the pattern of this world? Or are you being transformed by the image of Christ? And guess what? God wants to heal our land, but first we need to turn to him and pray. Uh, Joel 2.28, And it shall come to pass afterward that I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. God was going to pour out revival afterward. He was revealing his will for his people afterward. After what? After a fast. God pours out his spirit. He pours out his healing. He pours out prophecy and dreams after a fast. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Consecrate a fast. Call a sacred assembly. Joel 2.15.
His promise was to pour out revival and blessings on the land. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some afterward seasons. I'm reading right now out of Genesis, Jensen Franklin's fasting book. So that's where we're at. There is healing for our land. God's going to heal your body. He's going to heal your mind. He's going to take the pain out of your back. He's going to uh, heal my body. And he puts his protection on you. And you're going to be safe. And you're going to be whole. Yeah, we're all going to die. We're all going to die. But until that day when God calls us home, that glorious day, that's a good day. Do you realize that it's better to be with the Lord in the spirit than away from him while we're in this body? Good news when we die and go see Jesus face to face. That is the best day you are ever going to have is the day that you die if you have Jesus living inside of you. That's something to look forward to. We just watched 90 Days in Heaven on Pure Flix and, and uh, the guy had a vision of heaven and he didn't even want to live. He didn't even want to be back in this world because heaven was so good. You know, we are not afraid of death. And guess what? We are all going to die. But until that day, we're going to walk in wholeness and health and healing. And we're going to have power. And we're going to cast out demons. We're going to heal the sick and we're going to raise the dead. That's right. Some people are not, it's not their time yet to die. And God gives them the grace and the mercy to live. So 2 Chronicles 7, 14, I do this thing on, on, in July on uh, the 14th where we go to the Capitol and we pray and we fast and we pray and we ask God to heal our land. But guess what? Our nation needs to repent. And then this pestilence would be lifted off of us. You know, there's nations in Africa where their leaders say sickness are not going to be here. They have kings and leaders over there in Africa where coronavirus is barely doing anything because they have faith in God. They're not going to shut down their churches. They're going to pray as a nation and seek God. Instead, what do we get from the White House? We get a bunch of fear and paranoia and a bunch of, guess what? If you don't get this shot, you're going to die. And you can look forward to a horrible winter because all of your friends and loved ones are going to die. And we get a bunch of fear coming from the White House. Well, guess what? We don't need that kind of fear in our lives because we have Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I don't accept and I don't claim a bunch of sickness on my life because I got the blood of Jesus on my life. And if you want the blood of Jesus, you call out to God with all your heart and you repent and you turn from your wicked ways and God will heal your land. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your grace and your favor today, God. I thank you, God, that, that you're going to do something new in us, Lord. In Revelation, it says, behold, I'm doing a new thing. And so, Lord Jesus, we ask that you would heal our land, God. We ask, Lord, you'd open blind eyes, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, that people are being brought to their knees in prayer and turning to you, God. I pray for a revival. I pray for demons to be cast out and for souls to be saved, Lord Jesus. I pray that you put on us compassion and allow us to weep for souls, Lord Jesus. Make us soul winners, Lord Jesus, for you. And we just repent of our sin. We repent of our pride. We repent of thinking that we can do anything on our own, Lord Jesus. And we ask for your forgiveness. And we trust in you, King Jesus, Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Hallelujah, God. Have some revival today. Get a revival going where you consecrate yourself to God and you make him number one in your life by his grace. Call out for his grace and favor today, and he's going to bless you and heal you. Love you guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.